Hi there, I'm meteorologist Paul Dorian here on Tuesday, December 20th, just five days before Christmas. I'd like to take a look at the big picture before we get to the local situation, this very active weather pattern. First, let's take a look at the North Pole region. We've talked about the possibility of a stratospheric warming event in the upper part of the atmosphere over the North Pole over the next few weeks and how that could possibly change our temperature pattern here in the U.S. some several weeks later. Well, here's the very latest temperature analysis over the North Pole. And the North Pole is situated right about here at a pretty typical cold polar vortex centered right here just off the North Pole with cold temperatures surrounding this particular polar vortex. Now let's jump ahead five days from now to uh, Christmas Eve. Hi, the SI Meteorologist Paul Dorian here on Tuesday, December 20th, just five days before Christmas, a lot going on. We have a very active weather pattern setting up here in the northeastern part of the country. And before we get to the local situation, I'd like to take a look at the big picture again, take a look at the North Pole. Last week we talked a lot about stratospheric warming and the possibilities that exist for such an event that could eventually change the temperature pattern here in the U.S. But let's take a look at the very latest conditions here. This is the GFS temperature analysis at the North Pole. And right about here is the North Pole, and there's a polar vortex with cold air situated in the upper part of the atmosphere that we're talking about, 10 millibar level here, the stratospheric part of the atmosphere. And rather typical situation here with a cold vo polar vortex just off the North Pole. Now let's jump ahead five days from now. And here you go. This is Christmas Eve. A lot of activity, of course, going on Christmas Eve here at the North Pole. But notice this little warm area of, of te uh, warmer blotch of air here off the North Pole that suddenly develops and it's starting to rotate around towards the North Pole. Meanwhile, the polar vortex is displaced a little bit farther away from the North Pole. This is five days from now, the GFS forecast for the stratosphere part of the atmosphere. Let's jump ahead another five days. And here you go, this thing is starting to wrap around, headed towards closer to the North Pole. So there is some potential for changes to go on here at the uh, North Pole region in the stratosphere. In other words, a potential stratospheric warming event. Here you go, 10 days out. This is from the GFS forecast model. There are reasons to believe that such an event may occur because of the way the winds are shifting over this particular region. So this is just something we'll continue to monitor here at the SIweather.com because a stratospheric warming event in the past, several different experiences with those have caused some temperature flips in the U.S. several weeks later. So we'll continue to monitor the situation here at the SIweather.com. Well, let's now get back to the lower 48, a very active pattern setting up here. Mostly rain will occur over the next several days. There's still an outside chance of some snow by Christmas morning here in the Mid-Atlantic region. We'll talk about that in a moment or two. This is the very latest uh, surface map here. We have a weak cool front here that's actually dropping southward. It's moving in this direction and it has actually moved through upstate Pennsylvania. Winds have shifted around to the northwest. A little bit colder air and temperatures may actually hold relatively steady today throughout the Mid-Atlantic region as this front slips through to the south. Now by tomorrow this front will be lying across the DC region and then begin heading to the north as a warm front. As this strong low pressure area which is situated way down here starts pulling up to our west towards the eastern part of the Great Lakes. It'll move warmer air back in during the day tomorrow and we'll, we'll move well back up into the 50s and it'll be quite a rainy day with periods of rain throughout the day. Perhaps even a thunderstorm mixed in along with some gusty winds as a cold front slides through late in the day or tomorrow night. Well let's look at some computer forecast maps. This is the GFS global forecast system for tomorrow morning. Wednesday morning, and then we'll look at Thursday morning, and then we'll jump ahead to the Christmas Eve, Christmas Day situ situation. This is for tomorrow morning, and that storm that is now situated out over the southern plains, the northern part of Texas, which, by the way, has just dumped lots of snow out here. They've had over 10 inches of snow in parts of Kansas. This particular low rides up well to our west and moves into the Ohio Valley by tomorrow morning. And from that position, strong southwesterly winds will turn this frontal system around. It'll start to return as a, as a warm front, so temperatures will jump tomorrow. It'll be more spring-like as we turn into the official beginning of winter. Very late tomorrow night, I guess it's around 12.30 in the morning, Thursday morning, 
we officially start the astronomical first day of winter, it'll be more spring-like. Temperatures may even be around 45 to 50 degrees in much of the Mid-Atlantic when we officially begin winter. This storm moves up to our west, dumps quite a bit of rain on us tomorrow. It'll certainly be another midweek rain event here in the Mid-Atlantic. Now by Thursday morning, that first wave pulls off. It's all the way off of the uh, New England coast now by then, and, and then there's another wave developing right along this frontal system that kind of stalls right in this region right here. So we have wave after wave that will kind of ride up from the uh, western part of the Gulf of Mexico towards the coast from later this week right through the weekend. This is the next wave, and it sends some rain back into the mid-Atlantic region later on, uh, Thursday night into the early part of Friday and now let's jump ahead to the weekend and here's last night's run of the GFS a 0-0-Z run for Christmas Eve this is Saturday evening and there's low pressure situated gen kind of a general low pressure here that's moving off the coast but notice there's a little bit of a warm tongue of air here throughout the Pennsylvania region throughout the mid-Atlantic region in other words, the GFS is kind of a warm solution here, favoring rain, certainly for later Saturday, which is Christmas Eve, into Saturday night. Now, once this wave develop, consolidates off the mid-Atlantic coast, off the New England coast, by late Saturday night into early Christmas morning, Sunday morning, there's a slight chance of, of a changeover to snow in parts of the mid-Atlantic region. We'll continue to monitor that over the next couple of days. Now, not all details have been ironed out for this system. In fact, I'll show you now the European model. And this is last night's European model, run the same time as at GFS for Saturday evening, Christmas Eve. And it has the low pressure system a little bit farther off the coast and a little bit of a colder solution than the GFS model has. So there's still a little bit of uh, ironing out that has to occur here over the next couple of days. The, European model tends to favor a little bit more of a possibility of snow or a changeover to snow in the mid-Atlantic region compared to that GFS model. So we're still several days away, very active pattern. Certainly the chances are not zero for snow here in the mid-Atlantic. There is a small chance, and we'll continue to monitor that over the next couple of days. That's it for now. I'm the SI meteorologist, Paul Dorian.